and it could be some time before we ever do, if ever. Perseverance has collected 27 rock cores from the Jezero crater and its surrounding riverbeds. It cuts them out and then stores them in metal tubes that are then left behind on the surface. The plan was always that another Mars rover would follow along in the near future and collect the samples, then load them up into a return vehicle that would blast off from Mars and eventually land on Earth with the rocks in tow. Mars sample return is complicated and expensive, and as of right now, the US government does not want to pay the cost for NASA to complete the mission. They'd rather someone else do it. And even though NASA has more experience landing on Mars than any other organization in the world, in fact, the only other space agency that has ever landed successfully on Mars is China. The Chinese have their own Mars sample return mission planned. It's scheduled to launch in 2028 and arrive back home with the Martian rock in 2032. The Chinese can afford it. They probably have the technical capability to pull it off, and now they know exactly where to go looking for the first real evidence of extraterrestrial life. Not that it should really matter who discovers what, right? This is about science, but it also does kind of matter, doesn't it? This is science that will change everything we think we know about life and the universe, and NASA is so close, yet so far away. But it's important to remember that none of this is impossible. The money is there, 